and welcome back to the Sims 3 Supernatural slash Midnight Hollow. This part and the last part were filmed back to back. So if you guys did leave me your suggestions, I have not seen them yet. But I have a feeling I already know what a lot of your guys' suggestions are. I have a feeling that you want us to work it out with Miles. But we're going to see kind of how it goes. We're going to see what Jonah says. We're going to kind of tell him today because she's officially showing. She started showing last night. So I think we're going to invite Jonah over. We're going to tell him we're pregnant. We're going to kind of see how it goes. Um, I, I feel like we need to break off the romanticness with him for now since Jonah was so understanding. I just, or Jonah, I mean, Miles was so understanding and he didn't break up with us. Like, I mean, maybe he wasn't super understanding, but he just, he wasn't as angry as I expected him to be. So it just really makes me wonder, like, what, what his true feelings are for her, because he must really have some feelings for her if he is going to be okay with the fact that she had a one-night stand and has some sort of romantic interest with this guy. But we're going to invite Jonah over. We're going to see what he says. We're going to ask him to just be friends for now, because she needs to figure out her life. She needs to figure out what she wants to do what her next step is so we need to actually take care of mr nibbles so come over here and clean the terrarium please and the cats are doing okay what are you guys doing you're goofing around which is perfection we still have to put this little snake in some sort of case i almost said but that's that's not the word um but i don't really think we're gonna do it at this moment because we don't have a whole lot of room in this house which is another thing i want her to spend a lot of time at making some money i still need to place down that consignment shop that i wanted to place down like 500 parts ago but you know we haven't gotten to it because i keep forgetting <laughs> she wants to cook jonah's favorite meal now the only reason that popped up is because we brought him or we asked him to come over so I'm not going to look into that one too, too much. Okay, he's here and he's still in his, he's out of way. So that's quite interesting. But yeah, we're definitely going to ask him to just be friends for now until we can figure out where we're going, what we need to do, where this is going to take us. One of the cats puked, so that's always really lovely. You know, it's really nice. Um, Why don't we go ahead? What was that? Did you guys hear that? What the hell was that? Okie dokie. Um, I don't know if you guys even heard that, but it sounded like there was like a door slamming in The Sims, but whatever. We're going to announce our pregnancy to him. Be like, hey, you know what we did the other night? Yeah, it resulted in a baby. And of course he's going to be excited because it's The Sims. They're, they're always excited for you. He's like, yeah, thumbs up. Great. Great. So happy for you. Um, Let's see. What can we do? Let's confess to cheating to him and see how he takes it because this could be a whole different ballpark so let's see what he says Damn. He's late. I'm off. oh okay okay but he seemed to say about the same thing um can we actually talk to him or is he leaving uh can we Let's calm him down. Let's let's see if we can calm him down. Uh, there's still romantic wow. interest. Oh my god! See, he's not taking it as well as Miles. Like Miles is actually her boyfriend, and he he was upset for a minute, but then he was like, you know, it's okay. You know, we can work on things. It's okay. Oh my god! But Jonah is straight up yelling at us. <gasps> what? See, this is usually how it goes whenever, like, a kiss and makeup. What? This is usually how it goes when you tell somebody that you have um, cheated on them. So let's see if we apologize to him. And oh, we can't even do that. We can't even do that. Is he leaving? Yeah, he's leaving. He's definitely leaving, which, okay, do you have some, like, look at his face. Look at his face and the thing is is jonah knows that we had a boyfriend so i don't know why he's even making that face but girl just chill out on wanting to meet a vampire okay just please just please stop we're gonna go ahead and x out of that because i have a feeling that's not gonna be anything that's gonna happen anytime soon is going on a date with jonah uh so yeah this could be quite interesting um jonah was not okay with that which i mean who really would be you know who really would be but i just have a feeling that what is this one for 
Uh, provides a small amount of destruction to the relationship with another sim. That's interesting <laughs> that I would pick that one. Um, yeah, I don't know how Jonah is going to really take this. I don't know if he's going to actually be a part of this baby's life. Something tells me he's really not going to be into it, but I don't really know. I can't remember. Is he... Do we know any of his traits? He's just for two so. So we're going to try to go over to his house, I think, and just ask to be friends for now. Since he didn't take that too well. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and visit the Zimmer household after we make this and see if we can just ask him to be friends and be like, hey, I don't know what's going on right now. I want, I'm trying to work things out with Miles. We're just going to have to kind of end this right now. Who knows if in the future, if, you know, maybe Miles won't be okay with this, you know, after she actually has a baby. Maybe the next time we see Miles, he won't be as okay as he was yesterday. He might have just been in shock yesterday and he's like, yeah, it's fine. And then went home and thought about it and was like, what? What in the hell? So, uh-oh, is she sick from, oh, from the alchemy station? Okay. Uh, oh no, it wasn't successful. That sucks, but... Yeah, we're going to see, we're just going to ask him to be friends for now so we don't have any sort of like horrible reputation, even though, I mean, we already do, but you know what I mean. We're just going to kind of wrap up their relationship for the moment because we don't know if Miles is actually really wanting to work on it, if she's actually, what in the freaking hell? It is 1.30 in the morning. I'm sorry, you guys, but my lights... Hold on. Is it raining right now? My lights just totally flickered, like, to the point where they were going to go out and everything just, like, went out. But it didn't go out. And I'm totally freaked out. And now I have goosebumps. Like, what the f I wonder if it's really... It's supposed to storm really bad here in St. Louis. I'm wondering if it's really windy outside or if you know, maybe my house is just freaking haunted. That was so creepy. <gasps> I wish you guys could have seen this. I am so freaked out right now. Holy crap. <gasps> what was that? Okay, she wants to buy a crib. Anyways, we're moving on. We're moving on. We're pushing forward. Okay. We're going to tell him we want to be friends once we get in his house. I'm genuinely, seriously still freaked out. Like, what in the freaking hell? Anyways, um, let's go ahead and tell him right now. We're just going to do it. Uh, let's just go ahead and tell him we want to just be friends for now. We're going to see how he acts with the baby. We're going to see kind of what she wants. We're going to kind of go through what she wants now. Like, it's going to be about her wants, not about, like, me just randomly having her hook up with people. <gasps> Dude, you have a temper. You have a temper, my friend. And you want to pillow fight with him. I'm pretty sure... He's not going to want to do that. Pretty sure. Let's go ahead and apologize to him and then try to maybe cheer him up. I doubt that's going to work, but we're going to see what happens. Harlow is behaving inappropriately. If she continues, I'll have to ask her to leave. Dude, like whatever. Oh, we got a vampire back here and then we've got this guy back here just chilling. Oh, he's tearing up their... He's tearing, he's tearing up their heart. No, I'm just kidding. In sync. Uh, he's tearing up their freaking... Why can't I get my life together? I'm still freaked out, you guys. He's tearing up their couch or their chair. Okay. Uh, why does he look like that? Look at his face. Like, he just looks like he's dang mean, but I don't think he is mean. Uh, we're going to try to cheer him up like I had originally said, but she's about to... Oh my gosh, we got an invitation to Miles' party at 8.59. We'll go ahead and we'll say we'll be there. We'll see how it goes. She is puking her freaking guts up. You poor thing. You poor thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and see if this works. He's still upset with us, but you know, we gotta we gotta try to figure out our life, boy. And if you aren't happy about the fact oh He's just not happy with us. He is not one bit happy with us, which I mean, oh no, they're not even friends anymore. Oh, they're not even friends. That kind of sucks because they do need to kind of be friends because we're, they're about to have a baby together. Let's announce our pregnancy again to him and see how he kind of takes it. 
Um, let's see. What else can we do? Uh, let's compliment his home. I'm sure. Yeah, this is not going good. Nope. He's not into it, you guys. Unfortunately, he is not at all into it. He's so mad at us. I mean, I guess we can't really say too much, but he knew. He knew what was going on. He knew we had someone. If anyone has the right to be mad, it is, uh, I gotta listen to what he's gonna say. If anyone has the right to be mad, it's Miles, because Miles had no idea of any of this, so... I wonder what did he say? I wonder what he said to her. Talk about family. Uh, he's not going to be into that. Like he doesn't want to be a family at this moment in time. Maybe later, but right now he's mad at you. Uh, let's go ahead and visit our parents' house and see if they can possibly offer us any sort of comfort and maybe tell them the situation that we're in and see if they can maybe help us a little bit and be like, mom. I made a mistake. I don't know what to do. We'll have to kind of see when we go to Miles' party how he re right hello words how he reacts to us and if he is still as okay with it as uh you know he seemed to be. I don't know. I wonder if he has the whole like you know, the betrayal thing. I wonder if he has that. If he's going to, like, give us, like, however many days before he decides. Because that would kind of suck. But we're going to we're gonna see if mom and dad have any sort of advice. Oh, dad's back here chilling with... Is this his dog? Is this your guys' dog? Oh, no. That is that is Julian's dog. Oh, Julian, what are you doing with your life? I'm just curious. Oh, She's going to be like, Dad, can I please go in? We need to sit down. We need to talk. There is some stuff going on right now in my life, and I just don't know what to do. You poor girl. And she's doing a little pregnancy waddle, which I love the fact that none of her clothes changed. I think just her sleepwear changed. So I think that, okay, Dad, he is out here doing the little cheer, the school cheer. So that's totally fine. Maybe we can talk to Mom for a minute since you want to be a little bit of a goof. <laughs> Let's go and announce our pregnancy to our mom. See how she takes it. And then maybe we'll go ahead and kind of chat with her and just tell her the whole situation. Tell her what's going down. Oh, no, no, no. No, I want you to announce pregnancy. Announce your pregnancy first. Tell her that you're pregnant and then you guys are going to kind of have a chat. And she's going to hopefully get out of these clothes. He was like, why are you in your work clothes, honey? I'm just curious. I want to see you in your cute little outfit. Um, every day. There we go. Oh. She's so cute. I love her parents. They're so adorable. I know they're going to be supportive of no matter, like, no matter what happens, they're going to be supportive of her, supportive of her because that's just the kind of people they are. Oh, she's like, yay, honey, I'm so happy. Oh, so now she's going to kind of tell her what's been going on. Like, you know, me and Miles have been together not too long, but I kind of made a mistake. They're talking about houses. Oh my god. But she's probably like, I kind of made a mistake. I went out to the bar with this guy I thought was attractive because I have a vampire obsession and now I'm pregnant with his baby. And he's so mad at me. We're not even friends anymore. Oh, oh, can I sleep over? That's too cute. Um, Maybe they can kind of hug and she can be like, it's going to be okay. If you need anything, basically. Have you heard Sarah Holden has been flirting with Edmund Flint? Okay, who are you and why do we care? But her mom's probably telling her, like, you know what, if you need anything, if you need to stay here for a little bit, if you need anything at all, you know that we're here, and that's just the way they are, so. Oh, go ahead and let her feel our tummy. That would be cute. Is this not... Oh, that is not a dog. I thought that was a cat outside. Oh, my God. Oh. Mom's feeling our belly. It's so cute. I can't even get over it. Oh my gosh, you know we gotta get a picture. How adorable. Oh, let's go tell dad. Let's see if dad has any different thoughts on it. Maybe we can kind of tell him, even though he wants to be chilling out here. Let's go ahead and... Why can't we announce our pregnancy to him? I guess maybe because we told mom about it. Let's go ahead and give him a hug. Oh, it looks like the party's probably gonna be starting. So let's go give our dad a hug. And just thank our parents kind of for being there and listening because we're in a very, very difficult situation right now. And she's not quite sure what to do and where to go from here. But now we're going to go see 
how Miles is actually going to take this because he seemed way too cool for school in the last part, which is kind of strange because I've never had a sim in that situation be that way, especially when they're family oriented. It seems to be a little bit worse. So we're going to go over to his house and kind of talk to him and see if he is still in the, the good mood that he was just in. I'm still curious as to why our parents have Julian's cat. Or are they, like, house-sitting for him? I'm a little bit confused. Julian, did you burn your ass again? Like, I'm actually kind of curious where he's been. We haven't seen him in, like, two parts. <laughs> Hopefully you're okay, my friend. We're not even friends anymore, but I hope you're okay, Julian. I hope you take showers without us uh, telling you to, so. Alrighty, let's go ahead and see what kind of happens here, how things go. All right, so we are at Miles' party. Let's kind of talk to him. It looks like he's going upstairs to... Ooh, who are you? Oh, Sarah, you look so cute. You remind me of... Oh, my God. Of Sally from... Oh, okay. Is he, go... Is he going to sleep? Oh, are you... you're, you're going to sleep? Okay, that... Well, actually, you know what? You need to use the bathroom. So we'll let him kind of sleep for a second. But you need to use the bathroom. <laughs> I can't believe he started a party and he immediately went to sleep. Like, Miles, really? Can we have a quick meal of some maybe green salad while we're waiting for you to wake up? Like, I'm so confused. So confused, my friend. Okay, we're gonna see if we can... Girl, why are you always doing this? Oh, that was probably what have woke him up. Um... Okay, we're gonna wake him up and we're gonna kind of come up here. And we're going to see if things are still okay with us. So let's see what happens when we announce our pregnancy this time, even though he knows we're pregnant. But we're going to kind of... Oh, no, he does. You guys, I think he does have the little betrayal thing. We might have to see... Oh, no, we're going to ask him how his day is. We're going to have to see... We're gonna have to see how he he, he reacts to this because this could be interesting. I can't remember how long the betrayal thing actually lasts. Let's see if we can be flirty with him, and if he's not into it, then we'll know he's still kind of upset. Okay, it didn't sound like he's having. Oh yeah, uh oh, this isn't gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. Oh no, he isn't into it. <gasps> Let's apologize to him. He obviously is not happy he just must have been he must have been hiding it he didn't probably want to make a scene which i can understand um let's talk about our feelings to him let's tell him how sorry we are we want to work things out we want to like see how this goes let's see if we can compliment his party oh he thinks we're being flirty now is he like he's is he like all over the place or what Okay, what I don't get is he is not into the friendly stuff, but he's into the romantic. Let's talk about our feelings again, because he seemed to be kind of into that. And then maybe compliment his appearance. Oh, he's so cute. I feel actually really terrible right now. Um, can we maybe give him some... Oh, he's not into it. Can we give him some flowers? Can we be like, we're sorry, dude, here... Take these romantic red flowers. Now, how come you liked talking about your feelings? Like, I don't get it. Oh, no, you guys. <gasps> He's really upset with us. I kind of figured he would be, but I was kind of shocked at how calm he was, I guess. Because <laughs> he was pretty calm. You have got to admit, he was pretty calm taking the whole fact that she cheated. So... I think I'm going to wrap up this part right here. You guys have got to let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to read the comments from the last part and this part and see kind of your thoughts on things with this because it's getting a little crazy. It's getting a little bit crazy and she is now pregnant and will be giving birth probably, I would hope, in the next part. I might actually skip a day and then just skip until her pregnancy uh, so yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. What do you think that Miles is thinking? What do you think that Jonah is thinking? I truly think that Miles cares about her and he is just really heartbroken right now. 
I might actually, while we're playing a day off camera, kind of go into his household and see what his feelings are and see if, you know, see what his friendships are and see if there's anything like romantic in there that he's possibly hiding because I have had story progression on a couple of times. So he might be hiding something too. And I'm not going to mess with anything. I'm not going to like change anything. I'm just going to let everything kind of go as it is. So yes, on that note, like I said, I'm going to wrap it up. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed as it helps me out a lot. Leave me those comments down below on what you think is going to happen and what you think should happen. Subscribe before you go if you have not already. And as usual, I love you all so very much and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys.